Hey, welcome back to the den. In this video, we're gonna show you how we clean barn wood beams so they look like this. The beams that we source, salvage, and reclaim originate from old barns and outbuildings that dot our Manitoba prairie skyline. They come in lots of different sizes, uh, 4x4, 6x6, 8x8, 12, all, all dimensions, some heavy, some light, all different kinds of wood. And some of them come from buildings like these, where you're like on the outside, this doesn't look like much, but wham, on the inside you got a ton of nice mantles and something with the most unique character around. All right, let's get into her. How to clean beams, barnwood beams. Today we're focusing in on this particular beam just because it's so awesome and it's actually going to be part of a mantle here coming up shortly. So let's share with you what we do to turn it into this. First, I guess we clamp everything down and make some end cuts, right? Clean it up, make sure that you're back down to good wood. Man, that beam even looks cool on fire. Look at that thing. We have a few other beams that we're gonna do today too, but uh, we'll gloss over those later. Tools required. An air tank, number one, with a gun. A way to pull out nails. Oh, this works really good, that tool. The moisture meter, not necessary but it is nice to know the moisture levels so you can predict the movement of the wood for the future. There's lots of different brushes. We just threw in some nylon ones in there just to show you that, uh, you know, there's a lot, there, there is other variations that you can use. Safety glasses, of course, dust mask, and the secret weapon. Same thing as uh, before that you hook onto the drill, except it's on this tired old girl. <laughs> Tell you what, that little unit there has done thousands and thousands of feet of barn wood cleaning. Love it. All right, clamp her down again if you haven't already. Uh, we start by blowing it out with air. 100 psi, 110, somewhere in there, and just clean. Let the tank recharge, clean some more until we get like the most of it. And what we're looking for here is like to try and get rid of the loose stuff so it's not flying around as much. Uh, that's why we're doing this outside. This can be done inside, but my Lord. <laughs> Anyways, we're looking for, you know, metal objects, just visual. I guess later in the further steps, we'll use a metal detector depending on what we're doing with this wood. But for this case, you know, we're just looking for it, pull them out that are visible. Hit her with the wire wheel, uh, you know, four inches at a time. This beam's four by four, so it works out pretty good. Just trying to get the major stuff right off the top, get in the grooves. I mean, you can see like it pretty much hugs around every curve, which is nice because if there is a nail or something caught in there, you're just going around it and it's not gonna come flying out at you. Of course, every step follows by blowing this thing out with air so you can see how much cancer you took off this thing. The small ones that you hook onto the drill. Beautiful. For getting in those grooves, right? And you just work along and clean those grooves. I mean, if you can go in the opposite direction that the drill is spinning, you're gonna get uh, the most control. I mean, it's pretty tough. You'll see what I mean if you give it a try, but just go as fast as you can go and keep cleaning. That's the main thing. A little different view. 
Yeah, this wood is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Switch out, put in the small. Yeah, so flip it over. We do that on all sides. We're not gonna go over that, it's a little redundant. But this is your end result. Look at that thing. You can see the grain has been lifted. It's, it's just a perfect piece for our mantle. Love it, love it, love it. So the other beams, you know, may be a little quicker because they're more, I guess, a flat or smooth surface. So yeah, they're relatively quick. Take off as much gray as you want. Make sure you get that dirt. But, uh, you know, they all, they're all kind of rugged and rustic in their own way. Once finished, we're ready for the next step. That's all for today, but I mean, the next step is gonna be sanding and that's more uh, palm sander and something you hook onto your drill as well, of course. Yeah, checking that moisture level in these things. Yeah, do it anytime. I mean, that's ideal but we can get into that another day. For now, your finished product. Perfect.